what's up, Rachel Starr. Anyway, so last video I talked a little bit about um, hallucinations and mainly delusions. So another thing um, I've been asked to hit on is paranoia. So paranoia, like being paranoid, everyone, mental health, not in, like not even talking, just everybody in general on the planet gets paranoid about some things sometimes. Where you get paranoid, oh my gosh, you know, um, is something happening? Or, you know, you can get paranoid if you're speeding and something like, oh no, maybe the cops are like going to catch me. You know, just there's, there's natural paranoia we all have in life. I think it's, you know, just kind of like a little sixth sense we all have about things. Now, when you're having hallucinations, one thing people ask me about my ECT, well, what all did it help? For me, it helped my depression. A major thing that me having ECT, electroconvulsive therapy, um, that it helped was it really knocked out my paranoia. Uh, because it's one thing to have a hallucination about this warped humanoid monster thing following you around. It's another thing to have a hallucination about this warped humanoid monster thing following you around and then be super paranoid about it. Just feel it there and just be freaking out about it. Once that paranoia was, um, I still have it from now on now, but gotten under control, you would be shocked. Like, I, I, my hallucinations just did not bother me that much. You know, and that's why I'm used to monsters and stuff. I don't mind seeing them. They just kind of hang out you know, before the ECT where the paranoia was connected, it was just, it was like torturous. You know, everywhere I looked, they were there, they were torturing me. Again, I've told this before, I went to a school and in like one of the classrooms you were in, like I went for entertainment management, but the classroom was also used for like, I don't know, some type of like clothing design class or something. I don't know, but there were mannequins in the room with me and I hated that because in my mind, I saw them moving and coming at me and I'd be sitting there in class trying to pay attention, but the paranoia was eating away that they were moving up behind me, even though I didn't like visually look back and see them behind me, although I probably could have because I did hallucinate them moving throughout the room, but the paranoia drove me freaking crazy that they were coming after their me, come after me and they were going to do something. How do you deal with it? I, I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta cop out answer. The ECT really helped me deal with it. Now, when I still get paranoia, I, I have to face it immediately. A lot of the times mine is things like, in the dark, I see things and I'll get like, whoa, what's that? And, and my gut reaction now that I've trained myself is to go investigate it, get it out of the way. So if I'm like laying down in bed and I see something moving around, get up, flip on the lights, go investigate. Because if I just sit there and let it eat at me, it just gnaws at my brain and I'm just going to get sicker and sicker. So wherever I am, whenever I have like, I feel that come up, it means stop, get it under control, investigate, do whatever I got to do, but I'm not going to let this keep going on. So that's really all I got on paranoia. Um, if you got any, if you, if, if you got any paranoia, if you have uh, paranoia and you know some ways of dealing with it and stuff, please pop, pop it down and I can't talk today. Please uh, put it down in the comments below and um, yeah, let's all help each other out. I'm Rachel Starr and I'm out. If you got any paranoia. <laughs>